Hi, everyone. I'm Ms. Shaniqua, and I'm a teaching artist at New Sullivan Elementary. Hi, my name is Ms. Lamone, and I'm a teacher at New Sullivan Elementary. And this video is part of an online learning initiative by Chicago Arts Partnership and Education. So today, we're going to learn how to make text using yarn. For this project, you need five simple materials. You need a paper bag, I mean a plastic bag, mm -hmm. school non-toxic glue, scissors, a marker, and yarn. However, make sure that you get permission from your parents to proceed with this project. Now that we have our permission from our parents, um, please feel free that you can use different color yarns. Like today, I'll be using purple and white. So I want you guys to think of a positive word. It can be four to five letters. Um, my word is love. What is your word, Ms. Lamone? My word is hope. Oh, yeah. So here we go. So, as Ms. Lamone said, we have our plastic bag. What we're going to do is we're going to take our marker and write out our word. So, my word is love. So, it'll be L. And instead of the O, I will be drawing out a heart. V, and E. How do you spell your word, Miss Lamone? My word is H, O, of course I put a heart as well, P, Ooh. E. Yes. So now that we have written out our word, and I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it a bit better. There it is, yay. Now, once we have that down, turn it back so you're able to view it. And we're going to grab our scissors, grab the first color yarn if you have more than one, Pull the string out. Make sure it's a pretty long string. And you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut at a point. And see, this is the string. Pretty long, right? Then now once you have that, you lay it on top of your word in the plastic. You grab your non-toxic glue, Elmer's glue. Would work just fine. And then you're going to draw in with the glue. Draw it out. Come on, let me open up my glue. Draw it out like this. Kind of fill in that letter with the glue. But what I do is I do a part of the letter. I don't fill the entire letter in because we don't want the glue to dry up. And we take one point, one end of the yarn, and as you can see, Miss Lamone, for those, I'm a little fast, Miss Lamone is catching up to me because she's opening her glue, so go at your own pace with this. And you're going to take one end of the yarn, like this, and you're going to place it on top of the letter, starting with the side of the first line of your first letter. So since mine is L, I start on the end point and I work my way with the yarn inside. And you kind of just fill it in. Ms. Lamone's glue doesn't want to work. Oh no. See? Stuff like this happens. And we're gonna put it down like that and kind of just 
fill in the gaps of our letter. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. And you keep going and going. And as you get to a point, you just add more glue to continue filling in that first letter. Okay, bit by bit. And try your best to make sure you're inside the line so it can have more of a definition to it so we can be able to read the word when we're done. Just keep on going. How's it going now, Miss Lamone? It's fine. So if your glue's not working, just you might be a little bit messy and you might have to pour a little bit out and smooth it out with your fingers. Yeah, and that's fine because that's why we're using non-toxic washable glue. So do not be afraid to get your hands messy because you can wash it off and it'll get right back clean. Okay, we just want to have fun. Yeah. It's good to get a little messy sometimes. And we're just going to take our time and line up the yarn close together, kind of smush it in there. Okay, like so. You see what you wanna make sure you don't have big gaps. Yeah, no big gaps. Compact that in there like that. Okay, push that to the side. And then when you get to a point like this at my L, it ends right here. I grab my scissors and I will snip that part like that and then I will go to the bottom part of the letter which I will fill in right here. This is so much fun. And the cool thing about this is when it's all said and done and dry, you're able to peel it off and you can display it on your wall as a, for decoration. You can gift it to your parents or your guardian at home. You can make one for each of your siblings if you'd like or even a gift to your um, friends. Teacher. Yeah, your teachers, when we see them again real soon. This is a great personal positive message. Boom, ooh, that fit perfectly, look at that. And I filled in the L. Now, I'm going to go to my heart, which is a substitute for the letter O. Actually drew in the shape of a an heart. And instead of purple, I'm gonna switch it and use the color white. And I'm gonna start at the end, like the last letter of, so I'm gonna start at the end of the heart shape and work my way inward inside of the shape. And as you're placing it, it's okay to use your index finger as a way to kind of keep the yarn down. So as you're lining it up, just pinch it a little bit, push down with yarn. See how I'm doing that? So like that. With my nail. Keep it going. Okay. 
What color yarn are you using, Miss Lamont? I'm using multiple color yarn. It's pastel colors. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. That'll look really nice. Yeah, you could you guys can totally get a yarn that has multiple colors already on one str one string. And if you run out, just cut another long string and continue where you left off. Just make sure you're staying inside of your letter or shape. So we're able to see the definition of what you're making, working on. And then once you get all comfortable and you make your first one and you start making one for your friends and family, you're gonna be a professional. And you could teach other people how to do this as well. Mm-hmm. This is so cool. And feel free when you're drawing out your word, kind of make it a good size. Don't draw it out too small. You want to draw it out big enough to kind of take up the space of your plastic bag you're working with or you're working on. Oh, this white yarn is acting up a little bit. There we go. Make sure that you push your yarn down so that it's in the glue and it's touching the bag. Yes, directly touching the glue. So the glue is touching the plastic bag and then the yarn is touching the glue. Everything comes together. See, there is my heart right here and then i'm gonna snip off that because we're done using the color white and i'm gonna switch back to purple okay and then i start with my letter b And then we continue starting with one side of the letter, taking your index finger, pushing it down and working your way inward. Just like that. You guys are getting the hang of it. Good job. Remember, it's all about having fun. Yes. Wrong or right way to do this. It's about being artistic. Mm -hmm. Using our imagination and creativity to make beautiful things. And feel free, you can play music, watch movie in the background while you're working on this, whatever makes you feel comfortable. see how I'm breaking up like 
for the letters. I'm breaking them up into three to four different parts as I'm adding glue every time. So the glue does not dry up. So I would recommend you start off sectioning sections um, and applying glue, then the yarn until there's no more glue left and then applying more glue to finish your letter. It's just easier that way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is so cute. I love it. I love love. <laughs> and if you have a problem like I did with my glue top, just pull a little bit at a time and smooth it out. Yeah, things happen, but liquid glue is the best. A glue stick will not work very well. So make sure it's liquid glue that you're using in a bottle. Oh, I have one more letter to go. What about you, Ms. Simone? What letter are you on? I am now on my P. Ooh, catching up quickly. So there's my P. And then now I'm moving to my last letter, E. I'm gonna do a section at a time, just like that. Smoothing it out, like Miss Simone said. Boom. And I'm gonna continue with purple, why not? So the heart can stand out. And then push it down like this. Get some more purple. Now, because I have a P, I have a hole in the middle, so you have to work around the hole. Oh, that's a good point. Yes. You don't want to fill it in. Then we won't be able to make, understand what letter that is. If you fill in that. Oh. Good point, Ms. Mom. I'm almost there. The E is a bit more work. I have like little sections. The great thing about yarn is it curves with you. So as you're mm -hmm. certain letters, make the yarn curve with the letter. Yep. And once you finish your positive word that you're doing with us, feel free, you can add numbers, you can even play around and do an emoji. I mean, you can do anything. Because it's, you got the whole gist of it down. You just got to get the colors that you want to make what you want to make. You can make a picture out of it, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of cool things. So, as you can see there, 
There's part of my E. I have two more sections to go that I'm going to add some purple to. Be careful with the scissors, how you handle it. That's why we ask that you ask your parent or guardian to either assist you or get the approval. We don't want anyone hurting themselves. Oops, I'm almost there. Then I do this. Oh, yours looks really pretty, Miss Lamont. I love those colors Thank together. You. Black white heart. Your heart is beautiful. Thanks. It's the pop, you know. Yes, ma'am. So I want you guys to have fun. Mm-hmm. Oh. Can I just squeeze this in here? Yeah, I think so. A little more. And there it is. Perfect. So now I can turn it around for you all to see. This is mine, and Miss Simone is almost done with hers. But as you can see, L and then place of the O, I put a heart, V-E. My positive word is love. I'm spreading love to each and every one of you guys during this time to stay healthy indoors, be safe. So we can see your beautiful faces again in school. So, yeah. so as, as I'm finishing my project, you will have to remember that this does take time to dry. Yes, it does. I will say overnight. Yes. Check on it the next day because the glue needs time to really set in on the plastic. Okay. And if you see some of your things are, your yarn is kind of rising up a bit, just take the palm of your hands or the inside of your hands and pat it down gently. Just pat it like I'm doing gently, okay? Just to make sure everything is flat and laying down nicely. And then you can go back in and with your fingers kind of nudge those yarn closer together, okay? And so Ms. Shanika was kind enough to do this project for us already and she can show you how it will look once it dries yeah because That's the glue cool. is non-toxic and it's washable it comes off pretty easily yes it does so to test it out what i did i'm gonna put this to the side and this is the one that I did to show you guys last night, see? L-O-V-E, again, but this time I had incorporated two whites and two of the purples. And how you That's do- great. Mm-hmm. And then once you do, you peel it off, see how that just easily comes off like that? But then you just go in gently, Take your time, letter by letter. Don't just pull it, pull it off so abruptly because it comes off really easily because it does not want to stick to the plastic anymore. See? And then you remove the plastic. And look what we have. It's beautiful. You can hang it on your wall. You can hang it on a picture. Yeah. So 
guys for joining us. I hope you liked your project. Yay! Thanks, guys, for watching. Please check out capechicago.org, capital C A P E, lowercase c h i c a g o dot org for more videos from teachers and teaching artists across Chicago. With much love. Thanks, guys. Videos to come. Thank you.